When using a RED camera on a gimbal, which may be mounted on a drone or cable cam system or large crane, it uh, might be quite difficult to adjust your RED settings while the camera is far away from, from you. Uh, this is why we came up with this setup here. Uh, this is made possible by a special uh, add-on for RED, which is being installed on this device here. And uh, the other components involved here are a standard RC system. So this remote here could be replaced by any uh, similar uh, remote, which comes with a receiver such as this one. This uh, receiver receives the signals being transmitted by, by this remote controller and uh, communicates them to IntelliJ. The other components involved here are just a LiPo battery which is powering uh, everything here including the camera and a uh, small voltage regulator to supply the correct voltage to, to these devices. Let's see how uh, it works. Uh, we have here this blue switch here. We call this a master switch. Uh, everything that I show to you now is just uh, a configuration that uh, we did. I will show you at the end how these configurations uh, may be done. But you can configure your remote uh, any way you, you see fit, uh, depending on your liking and depending on how many available channels you have. Uh, this master switch here selects the uh, function that we are adjusting. The blue or green or so on LED here indicates the currently selected function. So uh, it is now set to, to blue again, which indicates that the selected function is aperture. And if I rotate this knob here to the right or left, I can adjust the aperture. This is of course only possible on uh, lenses which have uh, uh, electronic uh, aperture control. So if you have a manual lens, you have to connect IntelliJ to the external uh, servo system. Uh, let's go to the next function. So I flip this again. This takes us to the shutter angle or shutter speed in case your camera is set to shutter speed. Uh, the next one here it is, is uh, ISO. Uh, next one, this is really uh, important. Uh, it allows you to change your red resolution. So I change it now to uh, 4K wide uh, screen. Let's put it back. Uh, when you change the resolution, the device automatically reads uh, the compatible settings that uh, uh, exists at that point uh, based on, on the respective resolution. So if I go to the next setting, this is the FPS. This depends on the resolution, for instance. So I'm changing now to 25 FPS and, uh, FPS and I can go all the way up to uh, the maximum that is being supported by the camera at, uh, at this point. Uh, the other, the next setting here is the red code uh, compression ratio. So it is now set to four to one. Let's adjust it higher. It is now uh, seven to one. And uh, uh, we can also adjust the next function that we set here is the white balance presets. So I switched from 4,500 to uh, 3,200. And uh, Everything that we've done so far was done using just these two, uh, two channels here. Uh, the third channel that we have mapped is the record channel. So this red one starts and uh, stops recording. But uh, you could map the record function to these two also. So if your system only has like a, a couple of channels available because the other channels you are using to control your gimbal or cable system or so on. Uh, with just two channels, you can do uh, pretty much uh, everything that uh, you would normally uh, require. But since we have more available channels here, we have also mapped other things such as 
we have mapped the uh, false color tools here and we are able to cycle through all the tools available in this, uh, uh, this camera which are very useful if you want to correctly uh, adjust your exposure or uh, focus. Uh, it also has the uh, zebra tools available so you can activate and deactivate each uh, zebra separately. And uh, here on the green switch we have mapped the tint. So if you look on the screen you can see that by moving this we are adjusting the tint. Let's put it back to zero. It's now to zero. And uh, also we have mapped here the option of uh, switching from RAW uh, to uh, your LUT, your current LUT uh, setting, depending on how you like to, to see the, uh, the image. So uh, these are mm, the functions that we thought were the most uh, important to have implemented in the first version of our RED uh, add-on. Uh, depending on your feedback, uh, we, we will add more functions because the RED camera supports a lot more functionality but we don't want to uh, spend time implementing things that are not uh, really useful so uh, we, uh, please don't hesitate to send us uh, your opinion on what functions do you think uh, would be really uh, nice to, to add on top of what you have seen here. Everything that you have uh, seen here was configured by the user of a, of a simple uh, mobile app and uh, from this app here you can uh, show, you can have your IntelliJ device learn about the available channels on your RC systems, system and map those channels to uh, the camera functionality that you want to, to adjust. So there is a, a separate video showing exactly how to, uh, to configure uh, this uh, type of uh, a mapping between your RC system and, uh, and camera. Please make sure you watch that in order to understand how uh, IntelliJ works in, in that regard. Everything that you've seen was configured in this screen here and uh, nothing else. Just for you to, to know, we plan to release uh, a general new feature which not only uh, refers to the RED cameras but also to other cameras. And uh, this feature is about uh, having your camera settings displayed on the screen of your remote. So let's say you are shooting a live broadcast and you do not want to have anything displayed uh, over your video feed, uh, you could have your camera settings, the same settings that you see now on screen, you could have them on the screen of uh, your remote and this is what we are working on. Another feature that we are considering implementing uh, is to have presets being saved using your uh, RC remote. So let's say you want to quickly change between uh, I don't know, 5K 24P to 2K 240 uh, FPS. And uh, normally to do so by using the steps that I've shown earlier, uh, you would have to uh, cycle through your resolution settings and wait some time until the camera changes the resolution from step to step and then go and adjust the, uh, the frame rate. Now, by having these uh, uh, presets, you would be able to uh, use your RC system in order to set those presets uh, before you start shooting and uh, have one control uh, as, the, as the preset selector so you can immediately switch from uh, one, one preset to, to another and uh, let's say you are uh, in the air with your camera and you shoot 5K and uh, you realize you, you'd like to have a quick uh, slow motion shot, you could do that just by flipping a switch and uh, changing all the settings in your camera 
uh, in just a few seconds and not have to land or bring the camera uh, back to you. If you are not familiar with RC systems, if you find them too uh, hard to configure, then uh, you can uh, just uh, let us know that uh, you would like to have a pre-configured system and we can do that for you so we can uh, identify exactly the components that you need uh, depending on the system that you want to uh, install everything on and uh, we will try to, to find the minimum package at the, the, the best uh, price and have everything uh, configured on your, uh, based on your exact, uh, exact needs. So please don't hesitate to contact us and let us know uh, what your uh, issues are and we'll try to, to help you.